Hi everyone. We just wanted to address our current health crisis that is happening right now. We pre-record a lot of our episodes and at the time we made this, we had no idea there would be a global catastrophe. We first and foremost want to send out loving energy to all of our listeners. Fear and worry are extremely low vibrations and unfortunately we are all being forced to face those emotions. That being said, we recommend now more than ever staying grounded, working on the root chakra, and keeping in the present. In an effort to help raise the collective consciousness, we are posting Reiki videos every day. We also offer donation-based Reiki if you would like a personal session, and we do a free group distance session once a month. You can sign up on our site. Our next distance session will be to address worry. Today's episode is all about your spirit team, and we want to remind you, you are never alone. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome to Ed Arlene's Spirit Cast. If you're new to this podcast, we like to talk about all things related to mindfulness, meditation, Reiki, spirituality, magic, astrology, tarot, anything in that realm. <laughs> I feel like we need to pre-record that and just insert it we in. We should. Um, but so today, today's episode, we are talking about spirit guides and in particular, some of the signs that they're communicating with you. A lot of times, uh, people will think that their guides aren't they're helping them, but everybody has a spirit team. Everybody. You have a team of, the of you know, these helpers that want to help you, but because of free will and your free will, yeah, they can't unless you ask them. And then somebody's like, well, they never show themselves to me. They never talk to me. They never give me signs. How am I supposed to ask them for help if they never respond? Well, maybe you're just not listening. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe you're not listening or seeing the signs. They're right in front of your face. of the time. So, uh, types of spirit guides, everybody has a bunch of different types of them. They can be your ancestors, uh, you have animal spirit guides, uh, higher vibrational energies, for example. Uh, Some people even think they have extraterrestrial spirit guides, but that can be its own Mm -hmm. thing. Uh, then you have your guardian angels. Uh, some people like to separate, like, you have your angel team and then you have your spirit guide team. Yeah, didn't Christina like to separate Christina it? said that. A couple yeah. other people have, too. So this, uh, I think I'm just going to encomp- encompass the signs from your guardian angels and your spirit team. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to lump them all together. Hey, we can throw the archangels in there, too, because they try <laughs> to get out there and talk to you as well. Uh, when did you realize your spirit guides were communicating with you? How did, when did you have that epiphany? My spirit guides, I, I've always subscribed to it. I've always mm-hmm. thought, you know, knew we weren't alone. Um, but just how we were raised to, thanks mom, dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've always been open to spirituality in, in all forms from mm-hmm. childhood. So I don't think I was necessarily closed off to it. But I think when you get older, you, you, you tend to close yourself off to anything like that because you get stuck in the programming yeah and the conditioning um i think anytime i'm in a crisis mode so what 2016 mm-hmm. or any moment in lo- time in life where things have gotten really difficult is when i started to see the signs more um sometimes people will say like oh when you're on your knees begging you know for help like begging god or universal mm-hmm. energy for assistance that you get it and I think that's one of those times was like, why is not why aren't things working out the way I want them to? Um, this isn't where I want it to be. What do I need to do? Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden you start seeing the synchronicities, seeing the angel numbers, um, familiar numbers, like house numbers that you might have had in the past, um, telephone numbers that you might like that are significant to you, birth dates. Um, but I think when we really got into spirituality, is when I started to see it, like, ding, 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 ding. See? Just all three, three, three. Um, <laughs> yeah. But once you start once you start seeking it, you start to see it more, because you are paying attention. Yeah, and also, like, the more um, you start, like, you practice communicating with your guides and your angels and whatever, the louder they become, to the point where some people will actually hear audi- audible words like in their ear we have a friend that is like that and um the more you do it 
the more you start recognizing the messages. Um, I know for me, I remember um, when I was a child, I had a dream and I was being introduced to one of my guides. It was like an, I believe it was like a guardian angel. And I've had like guardian angel dreams a lot. And I have a ton of stories, but we're not going to get into all of them. But I remember as a kid, uh, I was at my house and I don't, I don't know, I was probably like eight. I was really young. And I remember being interesting. And I would say that would be one of my first memories of like communication with uh, a spirit guide or a uh, guardian angel. But then as I got older, I started to uh, lose that connection it wasn't I didn't believe it was that I got older and it just I you know you you just you're worried about having a job you know going to college all that stuff and you just start losing touch with that aspect of spirituality and then uh, around the time where I had I guess a reawakening we could call it yeah uh, I like that term a reawakening yeah Yeah, I started because I I do think too that younger people are a lot more in touch and then some, you know, life happens and you just start to um, disconnect. But uh, more recent years, I would say I start to become more and more um, aware of certain guidance till like, you know, up till today where, uh, let's say this morning, I actually was doing a meditation called in one of the angels and I had this like feeling uh, of uh, talking to them more, like getting guidance from them more, like asking them for help. And then I pulled out my angel card deck and the first card was ask for help more. <laughs> so, I mean, that would be an example of um, guidance. And uh, I guess we could start getting into the list so I don't, like, spoil anything. Oh. Uh, uh, one of the things you had mentioned were numbers. Uh, yeah. Angel numbers. So if you keep seeing the same number sequence, or the same one number as well, it can be just one number, if you keep seeing it over and over again... It could be a sign from your spirit guides or your angels, and you can look up the numerology behind that number to try to understand what they're referencing, or you could just look up what the meaning of that number is, period. Um, so, for an example, some people will see 111 all the time, like on license plates, on the clock, like just randomly, like on a t-shirt, like they'll see that. That's an example. Or 333 is an example. Yeah, 444. Uh-huh. Uh, but you'd also mention like significant days, like birthdays. That could be considered a number if you keep seeing your birthday or, like, your mom's birthday over and over again. It could be because they're trying to, like, reach out to you. Uh, it could be as simple as you're seeing it and your guys are basically like, yeah, we're here. Like, they're reminding you. I always look at it as this is a sign for you to... Take like, action? Take action. Not necessarily, but, um, like, to focus on your thoughts. Mm-hmm. So, if I see, like, a house number that we've had in the past... Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is a reminder to... Like, what I'm thinking about is manifesting. So I need to make sure I'm thinking about good things yeah. and stop focusing on the bad. It's like a reminder to, to get back in alignment mentally with what I'm wanting to manifest into my current existence. Yeah. Um, that's why you look at it a lot, unless it's, like, straight up, like, 444, 333. Yeah. Um, when I see, like, the actual, like, angel angel numbers, like, 111, 444, 333, you can look, you can just Google it and look it up um, if you want to or get a book. Mm-hmm. Um and it's usually like a message like you need to focus on your thoughts to um get clear with what yeah. you want. The ascended masters or, are near you. The ascended masters are near you and they're here to support you with all of your endeavors. Um I don't know, you're divinely protected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, well the next the next thing uh I think people ignore are their dreams. I had mentioned dreams. Yes. Uh if you have a dream and it feels significant, even some people like to do dream journals, like they'll wake up and just write down everything that they dreamt, even if it's like in, like a wreck, like they it's all mixed up and jumbled, they just write it down. And then when they go back and read it, they find some sort of meaning in it. And sometimes um, your dreams can have guidance for you in it, from, or literal, like you could have a dream and you're like spirit guides manifests in that dream depending on what's going on in your life and we can ignore it and be like oh it's just in my head but it your guys could be reaching out to you through that uh just pay attention to your dreams man that's what i would say yeah i, I should start dream journaling that's something i push off yeah some things i like to just not do <laughs> add extra things to my plate but especially now that everybody's been saying um that how important it is to really focus on and like to start mm-hmm. journaling more especially when in your dream like when you wake up from your dreams um or just in general because yeah. there's messages just coming through because of all the 
portals and so on and so forth, but... I'd say, uh, during meditate now, the, assuming you meditate, hope you do. If you don't, um, you should. You can also, if you want to have, like, a direct line of communication, you always can communicate with them, to be honest. Like, you could just be driving in your car and be like, guys, help me, but, uh... During meditation, people will often experience communication from their guides and their angels, especially if, like, you set an intention to do that. And um, if you pay attention during meditation, you might see colors, you might see symbols, you, the advanced practitioner might hear things, <laughs> um, depending on who you are. I shouldn't say advanced. Some no. people have, like, um... Some people, some people's uh, clear... Are just very blurry, yeah. yeah. Um, for sure. We know people like that. You might get visuals, and those can aren't just random they could be messages from your team uh even the one big thing that i've been learning over the past years uh, i was learning about claire cognance and we talk about that in like an earlier episode about the different claires and claire cognance is whenever you get a, a sense of like knowing and sometimes that can be in your own voice mm-hmm. and um i'm learning that if that knowledge isn't natural for you or if that's what is coming in isn't like the way you would speak or um things like that sometimes your guides and your angels will talk to you but it'll be your voice Mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say so don't ignore like ideas that just come to you um and that leads me to like downloads yes uh you can talk about downloads since I've been rambling oh you can take lead we're gonna Uh, um (laughs) downloads are whenever you get uh just this like you're hit with inspiration i don't know where especially if it's associated with something that you've been um having trouble with so let's say uh i always use business as an example because we're small business owners Mm -hmm. big business owners (laughs) (laughs) we are creative entrepreneurs that have our hands in a lot of baskets but if you uh Let's say you're... Oh, I said hands. Eggs and a lot of bounce hands. <laughs> Just taking <it> like, <laughs> Um Let's say you're a business owner. You're trying to, like, come up with a new idea for, I don't know, like, merchandise for your store. And you can't think of something. And all of a sudden, you feel... You get flooded with, like, all these different, I don't know, t-shirt designs. I really pulled that from yeah. personal experience. But I don't know. Like, let's say you, like, get flooded and you're like, where did this come from? Well, your guides knew you were having trouble coming up with ideas, and they're like, here you go. Uh, That's one way of interpreting it. It can even go down to, like, say you're writing, you're a writer, and you're like, oh, you just get hit with inspiration. You start writing, like, maybe you were having trouble writing before, and they knew, and they came in and helped you. Mm -hmm. Um, And it works really well whenever you're aware of it, and you ask your guides and your angels for help. And I kid you not, every time you ask something will always happen because it's happened to me before I've been like what am I going to draw today Um, and then I'll be like you know guides angels help me figure out something to draw guide me in the right direction and then boom I'm shoot I have like a whole painting done (laughs) you know what I mean like but you have to believe too that's a part of it sometimes you don't I don't know they're still there even if you don't believe yeah they're still there if you don't believe um but what I was going to say was that our concept of time is different Oh, is man-made. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. um, so even with just manifesting or what you're asking for, um, like the solution to mm-hmm. a problem, it could manifest instantly or it could come to you a year from now, two years from now, because time operates differently. Yeah. Um, you get your guidance whenever it's supposed when it, to happen. Yeah, when it's too. supposed to happen. And I am a strong believer that everything happens for a reason and mm-hmm. that there's meaning in everything. Yeah. Everything. Literally everything. Because you don't know what... It's it's all it's all part of the plan mm-hmm. of your life, um, but it comes when it's supposed to. So all the worry, like that ties back into the one we mm-hmm. we recorded a while, like about worry. And sometimes things don't go the way you want them to right now, but they will. Yeah, if you keep focusing on the good, pod, yeah. Um, the next sign that your guy or spirit guides and angels might be trying to reach out to you is, uh, ringing in the ear. Oops, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, uh, reason. First of all, let's make sure you don't have a medical condition. I'm just gonna <laughs> rule that. Say that right now. You know, you could have an issue, but assuming you're healthy, um, some people say that you get the ringing because, uh, you're ascending, like, 
we're not going to go too far deep into dimensions or whatever, but I guess, you know, we're transitioning from like 3D, 4D into 5D and et cetera. Some people say you get that whenever you're getting these like uh, upgrades. Downloads. Yeah, or downloads. But also whenever your team is trying to communicate with you, you can hear like an, a ringing. Some people even say they hear a choir, Let's if it's your angels. And uh, yeah, imagine that. And you're just like, oh, I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> it's just a choir. But uh yeah, they said if you hear, especially if it's in one ear, it could mean that they are there. They're telling you their presence is there and that um, they want you to pay attention, pretty much. Uh, it'd be cool if they would say something in your ear. I would be completely down with that, but apparently my guides don't want to do that. <laughs> no, because you might think you want that and then yeah. it happens and then you're like, oh no, I don't want this. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> Cause you get what you're ready for. No, for sure. I feel like um, they know that I might, like, freak out if that like, would happen to me. If something manifested right in front of your face, you might freak out. Like, you're in, eating cereal or something, and all of a sudden, like, your guides <laughs> pop up. Hello, my you, child. You'd be like, what the fuck? You know? Mm-hmm. You might not be, but I'm talking about that just theoretically to the you listener. Mean, you never know. You I never mean, know. You might, But it's, there's different levels to the shit. <laughs> You know what I like to think no, about? This is levels. going on. Go ahead. <laughs> this, is, this is real experience from years ago. Um, just to be where we're at now, on mm-hmm. our like where we're at spiritually and um, what we're open to now, it's completely different when we were five years ago, six years ago. Oh, yeah. Now I'm open to everything. And, you like, know, give I me like... the signs. Like, give me blatant. <laughs> yeah. I want blatant proof. I want the clear, audible guidance. I want yeah. it. Period. Whereas before, I might have been freaked out. Or you would have ignored it. Well, I think I think people ignore it all the time. I I still do, especially if it's something I don't I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the next sign I have is uh, visual. Now, some of you might get a, a form manifest in front of you, and that's really fucking cool. But uh, one of the more frequent signs is seeing flashes of light, and not not just like a flash. It's that it like kind of lingers. I've experienced this one. I actually asked our Christina. Yeah, I think I think Christina touched on it. Um, so the you can pay attention to the color. Sometimes they say the color represents archangels. Um, I'm gonna say this right out the gate. Archangels are here for everybody. They are not. You do not have a specific archangel that's like your team. You can call on any of them, and mm-hmm. sometimes people confuse that. So, like, sometimes people will say Archangel Michael is their, a part of their spirit team. He might show up a lot to help you out, but he isn't, like, exclusively yours. yours. Uh, but that doesn't mean they don't just, like, show up. So, like, let's say you're seeing, I don't know, like, you're seeing these blue lights. It could be Archangel Michael, or it could just be, like, your guardian angel. And they say that people will see that, and it represents their guides trying to get their attention. And, uh... Once again, assuming you don't have a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do not, uh, do not, uh, if you are seeing, like, there's a difference between a medical condition and, and, and this. So yeah. if you are having, like, pain in your ear from ringing, go to the doctors. If you are seeing constant flashes that are obscuring your vision, go to the doctors. Yeah, probably go regardless. Yeah, do not, regardless, if it's, like, is, there's a difference, and you'll know the difference, um, hopefully. So, uh, the next couple ones I have I have um if you feel like you need to write something and then you so it can go in the realm of automatic writing Mm -hmm. you you write something down and then you're like wow this really resonates with me that what's automatic writing why don't you explain that okay so automatic writing is whenever you tap into the spirit realm and you um receive direct communication through writing and uh Sometimes people will feel like their hand is, like, not theirs anymore. Like, it takes over your arm and writes. Whereas so other people will just start free writing after they've set the intention of, like, communicating with, you know, whatever the angels or spirits or whatever. And then um, they'll go back in and read it. And it's something profound, something, you know, that resonates with them. So you could be, you feel like you need to write and then you start writing and you're not sure where you're going and then all of a sudden you like read it and it's something that you really like hit close to home that could be communication from your guides. Another one is when you hear your name randomly Mm -hmm. and I've had that before, but I also think my mom's house is haunted. So (laughs) (laughs) that's beside the point. Um, 
another one might, you know, unexplained smells is one of them, but that could just be, like, a ghost thing, too, so we won't talk about that too much. Karen talks about that. She does. Uh, another big one, though, for me is whenever you hear a conversation or you hear a snippet of a song or something on TV and it is in direct correlation with something that is worrying you or something that, like, you need help with or just it really hits you, sometimes, um... Or not sometimes, I, I believe that that is, like, a communication, like, a check-in with, like, a spirit guide or your angels. So let's say you're worrying about what you're going to eat for dinner, and you don't know what you're eating, and then you hear these two girls talking about macaroni and cheese, and you're like, man, that's so crazy. Yeah. That could be your guys. You know, um... This is a random explanation. It was a really random... It was, like, a very basic way. I couldn't think of anything that was, um... Normal? Would be normal, but it... Something, like, you had have asked them for help... And then you turn on the radio and it's something, somebody's talking about that particular topic. Uh, nothing's a coincidence in this world. Uh, heed that advice. If it makes you feel good, if it resonates with you, it's probably your angels or your guides. Uh, I can't think of another one. Can you think of anything? Oh, a tingling on your head is one. Come on, tap, tap. Have you ever had that? Like a little tingling <laughs> I on have. your head? Um... Pressure in your third eye could be one of them. Hmm. Uh, the, the tingling in your, like, crown chakra, the pressure in your third eye are also symptoms of other spiritual things. Uh, we won't, we don't have to get into that. No. But that might not necessarily be, uh, be your guides. Sudden... Oh, this is, um, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, um, another one might be, a uh, change in your emotion. So, let's say you're meditating and you are setting the intention of, like... I don't know, you're, you're basically talking to your guides about something you're worried about or whatever, and all of a sudden you have this emotion wash over you, like everything's going to be okay. Uh, often that is a sign that your angel or your guide is hanging out and reassuring you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely happened with me. That happened at the last Akashic Record session. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Sometimes people say when your pets act weird... They, they believe that uh, your animals can see, like, things. Mm -hmm. And that might be a sign that your guides are around. This is another overlap, so it could be ghosts. <laughs> or something else. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Stay woke. Do not provoke. Ooh, what period. About? This is a good one. You got it. All right. This one's going to be real weird, guys. Meeting a stranger that, like, really does something that sticks with you. So, for example... Like, meeting a stranger who talks to you out of nowhere, and they're, like, really giving you, like, this positive, like, reassurance, and then they, like, kind of go away and disappear. Like, you know, I don't know if I'm describing this right. You gotta help me out with this. You know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> like, that interaction you have with a stranger that feels like it's more than just a stranger. Yeah, like, or the energy just feels warm. Like, you yes. may have known them in yeah. a past life, or you may have known them before. Um, that's usually a sign, but or, I saw, I've heard of people seeing the same stranger over and over again. Like, um, remember that time I was like, oh, look, there's that guy. And you're like, I've never seen a person ever in my life. Mm -hmm. And it's the same person. I don't know. Yeah. But I think I get in the zone a lot and I ignore uh -huh. people like crazy. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if anybody on here is on Twitter or not, but I feel like a lot of the time messages come through on Twitter for me <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you're like, all right, guys, I got you. <laughs> Well, we curated, yeah. we have a, a nice, we're following a lot of good people, um, but sometimes I feel like some of the stuff I'm worrying about or like thinking about, I'll see a message like shortly after. Yeah. Um, especially if it has like an angel number in it too, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> feathers, we didn't mention feathers. Oh, feathers are a good yeah. one. Um, some people believe that the color of the feather has meaning. Some people think it has to be a white feather. Regardless, if you start seeing the feathers randomly, it's a sign... That's supposed to be particularly from your angels, right? That's particularly angels, archangels. Um, butterflies is another one. Oh, butterflies is for spirit guides, um, too. Spirit guides as well. Um, or an animal that you mate, like, you like. So if you're, like, inclined to a certain type of animal, that might be a representation of your, one of your one spirit of guides. Your animal guides. Um, yeah, one, one of your animal spirit guides. But, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to your dreams. Look for the signs. And our parting message is that you are not alone. Never alone. And regardless of what you believe, you have a team that is there for you. All you have to do is ask, and they'll come through. Ask, 
and to be open to it. Mm-hmm. Be open to listening and hearing and seeing and release expectation. Release expectation. Um, and just it, even if you don't believe, just start taking notes of things that, like random thought like might come in. Just write it down and see if you see anything that resonates. That's a good point. Um, keeping a journal of all the like synchronicities and like you said random thoughts, things like that. Well, dreams, it, yeah. It's it'll like, you'll be like blown away, you'll be like, Oh my goodness. Yeah. So just start taking note. It's it is a, like you have to oh you or you're opening up to it, you've not been closed off forever. So it can take time because you gotta start to learn how to decipher what's what's real and what's not. All right, guys. Okay. So, um, as usual, at the end of every episode, we like to send distant Reiki out to our listeners. If you really like Reiki, I recommend um, checking out our YouTube channel as well because we post Reiki videos regularly. We actually have an, a zodiac sign um, playlist. Playlist, so you can listen to uh, this healing, or not listen, you can receive healing energy for your zodiac sign. Really awesome. Um, but anyways, if you want Reiki right now. Keep listening. The music will change. All you have to do is be open to receiving it. It doesn't matter when you listen to it. You will still receive the energy. When the song is over, the Reiki session has ended. It might make you sleepy, so don't, like, drive your car or operate machinery. You might want to go home before you listen. Um, We like to tell people to meditate with the Reiki, so that's a cool option as well. All right. Thanks for listening. Okay, thanks. Bye.